evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm James Jarman. And I'm Heather Scold. Seven weeks after the Drake power plant fire, we are getting our first look at one of the repaired units as it's tested for the first time. KRDO News Channel 13's Greg Miller toured the facility and has more live from Drake tonight. Heather Greg. and James, Colorado Springs Utilities tout say it is ahead of schedule after a fire disabled the Drake power plant and customers eventually had to pay more for power. Pieces of debris still line the floors inside damaged Drake power units. Which is actually really very, very severe on, on unit number seven. But not much has changed. Dan Higgins is the interim energy supply manager for Colorado Springs Utilities. He says everything has been rebuilt to restore the units to their previous state. But upgrades were not an option. Well, we have industry leading, you know, 100 day runs on these units. We've got great performance, great availability, uh, you know, great reliability. And, uh, you know, we've got no reason to believe that with that continued, you know, proper attention, these units can run for as long as we need them to. Construction crews have been working virtually every day for the past seven weeks, and they are ahead of schedule. That means rate decreases even sooner for customers. Customers saw a $5 jump in their energy bills this month because Springs Utilities had to pay for energy from an outside source. That equaled about $3 million. Uh, you know, the purpose of the ECA is to make sure that the, the cost associated with generating the electricity, whether it's off of gas or off of coal, is uh, it's cost neutral to the utilities. You know, there's no profit and there's no loss. It's just the actual recovery of the cost for making the electricity. Springs Utilities has no insurance for the lost energy it needs to recoup, but it does have coverage for the building. Value of the repairs so far is about $7 million. Now, immediately after the fire, many critics called for the plant to be closed down permanently, and they were hoping to find that they were hoping CSU would find some kind of an alternative energy source. Springs Utility says a new plant, if it would have built a new plant, it would have cost about half a billion dollars, and that simply wouldn't have been feasible given the urgency of the situation. Reporting live from the Drake Power Plant tonight, Greg Miller, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right, thanks so much, Greg.